Hi guys, it's Chris from Send From Heaven Golden Retriever here. In the first two episodes, uh, I gave you a short introduction of the Nova concept and I showed you what a breeder can do in the first eight weeks in the life of a puppy. In this episode, I will show you what you can do or what you should take care of when you get your puppy home. Everything else after the intro. Stay tuned. When the puppy arrives at its new home, the first few days are really exciting times. Never forget, the puppy lost its mother, the siblings, the breeders and all the surroundings that the puppy knows. So everything is new to the puppy. What you can do during this time is stay calm and make the time as relaxing as possible. But already start with some very short and small exercises that the puppy has to learn and are really important for its life. The exercises that we did with Nova, I will show you now. One of the first things that we did is we introduced Nova to the kennel. The kennel is a really useful item because uh, you can keep the dog inside and you can prevent the dog from destroying things in your house or chewing on something and so on. But it should not be a punishment for the dog. So that's why we put a lot of toys inside, we put a lot of chewing items inside so that the dog can have fun and we leave the door open, really important, so that the dog is not feeling like being locked up. As soon as the dog is used to the kennel, we put Nova inside and we closed the door. And after closing the door, we gave her a stop signal and left the room for some minutes. When I came back, it was really important for me to introduce Nova to the most important rule. Calmness is the key to success. This means as long as I don't call her, Nova has to stay calm. When she is calm, I step back and I call the dog. And then of course a lot of praising because the dog did something really really good and that's perfect. One of the activities that are most underrated is playing with the dog and having body contact. Remember, the dog or the puppy doesn't know you as human by now. So it's really important for the puppy to get to know you. And there is no better way um, than playing with the dog, having body contact. While playing with your puppy, always remember to vary the type of the game, to keep the game interesting for the puppy. For example, you can just lie down and you can sit again. You can start stroking the puppy and then you can change the game again to a little bit more active game. So everything you do to make the game interesting for the puppy is perfect. But never forget that your dog is still a puppy and you shouldn't overdo it. So this means after 10 to 15 minutes of playing, you should calm your puppy down. You can normally see it when the puppy is getting overexcited, starts biting you much harder than before, then it's time for the puppy to calm down. To do this, just change your energy to, to a very low energy, start stroking the puppy very slowly, very quietly, and if the puppy still bites you, just prevent the puppy from doing it, for example, open the mouth and say no, and start stroking again. And you can see as soon as you do it, the puppy will come down very, very fast. This is a very important lesson for the puppy as well. Staying calm is also a necessary habit when it comes to feeding. If the puppy is too excited, just stop the puppy and then start preparing the dog food. If the puppy gets overexcited again, just block the way of the puppy with your body language, give her a stop signal and then continue preparing the food. Remember. The more relaxed you are, the more relaxed your puppy will be. So this means take your time while you prepare the dog food, let the puppy wait as calm as possible and really take your time.
When it's finally time for feeding, we introduce the stop signal again. We just put the hand in front of the puppy, put the bowel down and the puppy has to wait some seconds patiently. And if the puppy does it, it gets the signal to eat. Good feeding habits also include that you as human are allowed to take the food from the puppy. While doing it, give the stop signal again if the puppy waits, just let the puppy continue eating. Another lesson which is really important for us to teach the puppy is that we as humans are allowed to stay close while the puppy eats and even are allowed to put our hand inside the food feeding bowl. Because the human hand should always be connected to something positive for the puppy. If the puppy gets too excited during this exercise, just take the feeding bowl, give the stop signal and if the puppy waits, let the puppy finish its meal. Next to teaching your puppy to stay calm in every situation, playing with your puppy and feeding it, going outside is one of the most basic and most important routines that you should take care of. If you're lucky as we are to live in a very quiet place which is really safe for the puppy, I would strongly recommend you not to use the leash at the beginning. Training the puppy to walk on the leash is a separate exercise that should always be taught separately. So if you have the possibility, just let the puppy go with you without leash. If you do so, going outside with your puppy without leash will reinforce its natural following instinct. This means that the puppy will always have an eye on you when you're outside and it doesn't want to lose you, which is really important for the relationship between you and your dog. To get your puppy toilet trained, you should take it out always after eating, after playing and of course after sleeping. Normally it's every two hours. When the puppy finished the toilet, a lot of hand praise is really important so that the puppy learns that it did something very good. After finishing the toilet, I would strongly recommend you not to take the puppy inside again immediately. If you do so, the puppy will learn that shortly after finishing the toilet, it's time to go inside again. This will result in a puppy which will try to hold back its pee and poo as long as possible to stay outside as long as possible. So just take your time for some more minutes outside. You should train the exercises that I showed you in this video for at least one week. When the puppy is feeling comfortable in its new home, it's time to introduce the puppy to other dogs. This is really important for the early socialization of the puppy. By playing with older dogs, the puppy also learns the body language of the dogs much better. But be really careful, just use older dogs that you know and dogs that are well socialized and are nice to puppies. We as breeders are really lucky of course, because we had Rosalie at home, the mother of Nova. And Rosalie is the best teacher that Nova could have. After playing with mummy, there was of course always time for a small snack. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you found some useful tips for yourself when you get your puppy home and what you should do in the first few days. All the other lessons that the puppy has to learn, for example, walking properly on the leash, uh, sit, down, stay and so on, you will see in the next lessons. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Um, if it didn't do it, subscribe to our channel, uh, press the alarm button and see you in two weeks uh, with the next video. Bye bye.